Is it time to eat already? You didn't have to bring it yourself. You could have just called me. Don't be silly. Do you want me to feed you? <laughs> Don't treat me like an invalid. I'm better than I was a year ago. Much better. I really thought I lost you back then. Yes, but now I'm almost well enough to handle the Monado again. Dumban, don't say that. The Meccan have gone now. Why would you say that? I just mean I'm prepared. Sorry. Okay. More importantly, eat up before it gets cold. I made something really special today. Don't feel like you need to stay here then, Fiora. Go and make your next delivery. Huh? Well, I'm sure you'd like Shulk to try some while it's still hot. That's okay. Shulk has no sense of taste. He'll say it's delicious even if it's stone cold. <laughs> In which case, today he would actually mean it. Hmm, maybe. I'm fine, Fiora. Off you go. Okay. Dumban, thanks. I... I'm not finished yet. I have to be prepared to use the Monado again. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Xenoblade Chronicles. In the last episode, we started our adventure by... I did not mean to open that. My bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, we started our adventure with Shulk and... Well, actually, we started our adventure with uh, Dunban up here, uh, who uh, miraculously survived using the Monado 100 years ago, as we just found out. Uh, though it seems he's lost the use of his right arm. And this is his younger sister, Fiora, who is that... Uh, third party member I talked about earlier, obviously she's got dual knives there. If you remember the last episode we were at the shop, uh, somebody was selling dual knives there that we could use. Those are uh, exclusively for Fiora, just, I guess, just to mention there for you. Uh, but if we come back up here and talk to Dunban real quick. What's up? Aren't you taking some food for Shulk? You better hurry. Oh, it won't taste very nice if it gets cold. Yeah, it'll just scold you for coming back up here. Uh, yeah, but actually at the beginning of this uh, episode, I skipped over the story quest. And it's, uh, Fiora's made food for Shulk. Uh, she doesn't want it to go away, since so she needs to find Col Shulk in Colony 9, and it looked like this on screen. Uh, you just accept that, and it tells you how to go through and look at quests and things like that. These are all the quests we have uh, accepted so far, that we haven't currently uh, completed any. That's totally fine. Hey, Fiora! Dixon! Looks like you're in a hurry. Where are you off to? I just thought I'd take Shulk some food. I'm on my way to the lab. Shulk's not there right now. Really? I just sent him out to get some fresh air. You know where he lives on. Outlet Park. That's the one. Okay. Thanks, Dixon. All right, so we now know that we'll actually have to find Shulk somewhere other than the military district. But actually, before I do that, uh, once obviously we're controlling or control of Fiora here. Um, but that's not what I wanted to do. Actually, yeah, I want to go to Area Map because actually there is some place I want to tr quick travel real quick, and I want to quick travel to the forest entrance. Uh, we get the achievement Skip It, uh, which I think is just like fast travel, like. I think once. This is our first time skip traveling. Obviously, just in case you wanted to go down here, you can obviously run down here and see that, uh... Well, uh, Shulk is nowhere to be found, but the Manado is still here, and you can just kind of chill with it, I guess, if you want to. Uh, just, I guess, to kind of show you off that. But that's not actually what I was here to show off. There is one thing that I want to show off that I think is, uh... Actually, two things I want to show off before we go meet Shulk. Uh, the food won't get quite cold in that amount of time, but, uh... If we walk right over here... Uh, and up to this next to this fence, we can actually see Ryan doing some military workout stuff here. So that's um pretty cool. We can kind of wave and say hello. Uh, obviously, if you're as friends with Shulk, 
Uh, Fiora will be good, pretty good friends with Ryan too, I assume. I'm pretty, you know, you can assume they all, you know, grew up together and whatnot. Uh, though I'm definitely not going to run all the way to Shulk. Instead, uh, I want to warp actually really quickly over to the Ether Light before we make our way up to where Shulk is. Uh, because I want to make or add one more quest to our, like, inventory here. Uh, and it'll be... Well, not this one. This is just a Colony 9 resident. Uh, this should just be another one. This is, uh, another collection quest. Uh, but I wanted to find a quest, uh, here. There's, I know there's a way that you can actually adjust time, I think. Nope, that's auto run. That's not what I want. Is it left or right? No, it's down. That's quest. I'm actually not sure what button that is or if there is a button. So we'll just go in this menu here and change the time. 10 a.m. That's what I want it to be. Uh, and this lady here should appear. It says uh, Marcia. So this is not a just common uh, quest. Dear me, my grandsons are having quite the altercation. This will be a named quest, by the way. I should mention that. Now they're both. Now they're to get the other hand, upper hand. They're both in training. That is a worry. Have you ever heard anything so ridiculous? I certainly haven't. I do hope the younger of the two wins, though. He is my flesh and blood, after all. That's why I'd like someone to take him the biscuits I've made. I might encourage him to train harder. What do you want the young one to win? They're both family. Oh, that's right, Fiora. You wouldn't know. Anyways, that's our business. I shouldn't have said anything. In any case, would you mind helping me with this one? Alright, we can take Marcia's biscuits to Jiroki. Or Jiroke, I guess. He's in the residential district, training to win a fight with his older brother. And we'll accept that quest. I'm most grateful. My legs aren't what they used to be, you see. Even getting to the residential district is awkward. I'll make you some biscuits. Okay, I'll give it to my best shot. Make sure my grandson gets those biscuits. All of them, preferably. And we can get her biscuits and take them along our merry way. Also, uh, the way Fiora kind of commented on uh, the quest a little bit, that is what is known as uh, co uh, questing comments. Uh, and certain characters will comment on certain quests. Um, I will be showing off all the comments. Um, and even like, for example, you had Shulk in the party there as well with Fiora. He would have said some things to Fiora. Uh, but it's mainly Fiora's comments. If you would have gone up there with Shulk, you wouldn't have seen the same things. Uh, also, those enemies marked there on our map, those are two enemies that we'll have to fight for a quest. Um, I do think it's pretty cool that the game actually like marks those on uh, the uh, on the map for you, as well as like you can see them on your screen, as well as any orb that has that mark above it. That's for a quest. So you have those right dial uh, dial those. We need two of those, and that was one of them. Uh, but I do want to show off some Fiora skills here. Um, she has Butterfly Step, which is a four-hit combo that deals massive damage. She has Screw Edge, which inflicts Break. And then she also has a Power Smash, which deals from the back to do massive damage. Obviously, we can't currently attack from the back because it's just us and we're drawing on the aggro here. Uh, and there we go. Um, also, by the way, I should mention that, but like anytime we add a character to the party... I mean, we took this guy, wow, out with almost one hit... Um, that the characters that you add to your party for the first time like Fiora here will always join at whatever level um, Your last party member was at so Shulk was at level 4 when we last played with him in the last episode And so now Fiora will also be level 4 as well But all right, I think that's enough like dilly-dallying. There's really nothing else to really do There's a couple enemies up here I'm just going to ignore them. No real reason to fight them. I've shown off all the arts there. Um, uh, and you obviously know that the other attack, even though I didn't get to show it off, the backslash, it'll do more damage from the back. But let's head up here to Outlook Park and meet with Shulk. The Monado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. They say that before time began, it was wielded by the Bionis. The same Bionis that we all live on. It must have a secret. That's how Dunban was able to destroy so many Mekon. And why he lost the use of his right arm. If I can just unlock the secret of its power. Shulk! Fiora! 
This is great. It tastes so good. Really? It's amazing. Oh, Shulk. You say that every day. Not quite. Hmm. It's always delicious. But today, it's amazing. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. I used some special herbs and spices today. So if you said it was just the same as usual, I'd know for sure you had no sense of taste. What? Oh, nothing. The breeze feels so good. Yeah. I've forgotten what it feels like. I never thought it could be so quiet here. You're spending too much time with Rai. You're getting used to all the noise you make. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so you know, Shulk, I hope every day can be like this, always. Debris siren. Strange. There hasn't been much falling lately. There might be more on the way. The anti air batteries can't protect us out here. Let's get back to the lab. Okay. All right, and we've added Shulk to the party. And the quest was complete. We'll get that every time a quest is complete. And it'll show us our rewards uh, and different things like that. So Shulk says it was even more delicious than usual. But we can encourage other party members. Characters can shout out an affinity cry to other party members to encourage or assist them depending on how the battle is going for them. Uh, go up to a party member and press B. Encourage dispirited party members. Help party members suffering days or topple, which are status effects, and encourage them to help improve the affinity between the two party members. Chatting to your friends in a heart-to-heart. -heart. If the affinity between two party members is deep enough, they can have a heart-to-heart. -heart. Search for the handshaking icon. Each one indicates a possible heart-to-heart. -heart. Why not check out the one in here in Outlook Park? For further information, we'll see heart-to-hearts continued in the tutorials menu. We can now switch the party leader around directly in the party menu. Uh, menu. Uh, select the character we want as the leader and press A to move the cursor as far left position, uh, leader position, and confirm it with A. Alright, so for example, if I want to. Whoops, sorry, I can now scroll over. I should be able to at least. I thought so. Party, I'm sorry, you hit party there. And let's say I want Shulk to be the leader. Uh, I can simply swap him around. Though I want to mention that. Um, Every character, depending on uh, whoever's the leader, is the one that you're controlling. Everyone else is controlled by the CPU. Uh, but we're going to use Fior for now. I think that's just the better option. Uh, affinity here. So now we can see that affinity between all these characters is great. So we also see Fiora is a little shorter than Shulk. Also 18. Likes vegetables. Dislikes delicacies. Things like that. Also have Colony 9. All the different residents here that we can see. All sorts of stuff like that. But anyway, enough of that. I think we're actually pretty much all done here. Though I do want to change it to like... Golden hour here. Um, and then examine this heart to heart. Feed the details of a heart to heart. This is Sunrise in the Park between Shulk and Fiora. Hey Shulk. Remember that time we watched the sunrise, right here? It was when we were quite young. Yeah, I remember. We came because... You and Dunban. We had a big falling out. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Really, it had nothing to do with you. But I still dragged you out and made you stay up all night. Glad we did it. Even though it was dealing with that one time. We talked for hours and hours about all our hopes and dreams. Then you fell asleep in my arms and we looked up at the stars. Oh no. What? What is it? Oh, Shulk. This terrible feeling. I said something really embarrassing. I wanted to get married. I'm um, Shulk. You don't remember what I said back then. Um. 
kind of? I can't quite put my finger on it. Hold on. I know I'll get it. Or, don't worry about it. No need to remember. I forgot I even brought it up. Anyways, that's the end of that conversation. Let's talk about something else. Okay, whatever you say, Fiora. Yes, I think I pulled it off. He doesn't suspect a thing. If he remembers one day. But for now, it's just a bit too embarrassing. Their relationship is just too cute. Oh, he learned a new art. Uh, I'll show that off, I guess, in a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so... Um, Heart to hearts have different selections, and depending on which one you pick, their affinity will either either go up or down. Um, for this let's play, I'll be trying to show the one that gains us the most affinity between two party members, though there obviously are other options. I won't be showing those off at any point. Uh, you can simply look at those for yourself, because I'm pretty sure... Well, heart to hearts here. We can, we've can we already watched this heart to heart. Though you can go back in the main menu and check on those uh, uh, throughout your adventure and always replay them uh, to see uh, all the different options if you so wish. Uh, but that's enough of that for now, and I actually want to change the time back. I wanted the time change for the heart to heart, but whatever. I don't know. I just like it to be daytime, I guess. Um, yeah, 10 a.m. There we go. And uh, there the time will change. Actually, I will change. No, I will change the party leader over to Shulk. Um, and I do you think I didn't I buy him some equipment just now earlier? Yeah, I bought him that headpiece. Uh, obviously, it won't change what he's wearing on his head because we have this here going on, uh, which is pretty nice. So we can also change that to it, I guess, whatever we just bought there. Which uh, it looked like this, what we just bought there for Shulk. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, normally, um, I want to mention this now. Normally, I'll be changing equipment at the end of episodes, like uh, before I finish off the episode, before we go in and uh, like talk about uh, what's going to happen uh, in the next episode and things like that. I'll always change uh, different things like that. But uh, Shulk learned a new art, so why don't we test it out on this button? Also, that B art there. Uh, this is a uh, slit edge. It attacks better from the this, this side there. If we do an attack from the side, it will actually do more damage uh, and things like that. We can also... Ooh, a nine top. Not bad. It's, uh, sometimes you can get equipment from these monsters. Uh, but there's also one more art there. Uh, I missed that. And this is stream edge. Inflicts a break on enemies in the front. And we can inflict a break again. And there we go. Um, now I... Do you want to play as Fiora for a little bit longer? I just wanted to show off Shulk's two arts, so we'll do this real quick. And now we're good to go. Um, though I think that's just about everything, other than some like enemies and things like that that are underneath us that we need to fight for some quests. We'll take care of most of those later. Uh, but also, we can run through here in this area, uh, and this will take us through what is known as the Residential District. Uh, then we'll be taking kind of a shortcut through here. Uh, I won't be coming to get these or grab these quests quite yet i do wanted to run through here though just to kind of show it's here uh just so we can get back to the other area and actually now that i think about it we can literally just warp to the weapon development lab which is uh actually where we're headed and uh while we're at it why don't we go and uh check out ryan over here doing his push-ups and things like that and uh oh wait um he's gone um how did he get off the hook so early? I thought they were doing like a thousand push-ups or something like that. Oh well, we'll just head inside the weapon development lab anyway and just take it from there. And uh, uh oh, someone's standing inside and uh oh, it's also Ryan standing in front of the Monado. This can't be good. Ryan? Ryan, what are you doing? Sh sh shulk. Uh, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just. Okay? Uh, I'm fine. 
Ah, oh, it's broken. What? What do you mean it's broken? Don't you care about me? I could have died. You're not hurt, are you? The Monado can't cut people. More importantly, what were you thinking, Ryan? Sorry, I, I came to ask a favor, but you weren't here. And I saw the Monado, and I know I'm here a lot, but even I need fresh air sometimes. Is your body still feeling numb? You have to be very careful with the Monado. It's not a toy. I know, man. I just wanted to touch you. Didn't know it would do that. Sorry. But is it true? The Monado really can't cut people. The pattern in that circle. Or maybe it's a symbol. I think it shows which power the Monado has at the moment. You think it's a symbol? Well, if I can find a way to increase the number of symbols, I should. I'm sure that's all very clever. But why were you more worried about a machine than me, Shulk? Well, I just... I just explained why. That's not the point! Uh, sorry. What on Bionis happened there? Ryan, are you alright? Are you okay? Does it hurt? No. Ryan, when you held the Monado, did you see anything? You know, like a blue blade made of light came out. Same as just now. I don't mean that. A feeling like time had stopped, and then time had stopped. So... Was it only me who saw that? That sounds strange. Is it another Monado then? Who knows? Anyway, no matter how good a sword it is, that's what happens when you hold it. Looks like Dundan really is the only one who can use it. I won't let my brother use it ever again. Not after what it did to him. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, the point is I'm fine. To be honest, this has happened a few times before. I've been researching the Monado for a long time. Shulk, don't act as if this is nothing. Look, don't worry about it. Anyway, Ryan, what did you want to ask me about? Ah, oh, yeah, uh, old Square Tax has gone and put me on punishment duty. Fancy tagging along? Punishment? The Colonel was pretty angry today. Did he hit you? Well, whether he hit me is neither here nor there, really. Although, actually, he did end up hitting me. And that ain't all. He made me do a thousand squats and sit-ups. Whoa. Nasty. Yeah. And now I have to go all the way to the Magmel ruins and back. So you have to go and collect the ether cylinders? That's the one. They use to power the mobile artillery. Looks like the damage has been repaired. They can't move without the ether energy. And it seems like the fueling station's all out of stock. Is the mobile artillery that big machine that crashed in the residential district? Yeah, probably. You know your way around there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'll go with you. Yeah, knew you would. Hold on. The Magmel ruins are in Tefra Cave, right? I heard that there's a male lizard nest there. I couldn't take it if anything happened to Shulk. He's delicate, not like you, Ryan. What are you on about? I'll be fine. I can take care of myself. But... Okay, I got it. I'll make you a promise. Shulk won't even get a scratch. A promise doesn't mean much coming from you. Hmm. She don't trust me at all. Nah, she doesn't mean it.
All right, so a few hours left the party, and now it's time for Shulk and Ryan uh, to do some things. Characters arts can now be leveled up. Select arts from the menu and select further in, or to see for further information. See the leveling up of arts skill and then also the skill trees. I'm about to cover both of those like actually right now. That's what I was gonna cover when we first entered Colony Nine, but I forgot it wasn't unlocked till later. So obviously we have the skill tree here, in which we have three skill trees for like every character: um, humanity for Shulk, integrity, and intuition. Now I'll have a basic trait with different like traits that like go down and you unlock them as you unlock uh or you earn more like uh, what's called sp and you earn that alongside like leveling up and things like that so humanity improves ether which means like shulk can be healed more health from like light heal and things like that uh this will improve his block oh, i'm sorry Ugh, words are hard i'm so sorry prioritize his block rate which it isn't that helpful for Shulk, he's mostly a glass cannon. Blocking doesn't do much. He's going to just try to do as much damage as possible. But then we have Intuition, which improves agility. And this is so, so good for Shulk. Um, agility not only improves your ability to hit enemies and how often you do so, uh, but it also determines how often you dodge enemy attacks as well. So this is very good. You are going to want to go down this tree first, uh, first off before anything else. Uh, we need 300 SP to get this one and then 700 and you can see how it goes up. Uh, and this unlocks different things like increased tension from battle start. Uh, this just allows medium equipment to be used by Shulk and whatnot. And then uh, Ryan here has spirit. Uh, he's already unlocked this one, medium equipment he can equip and then he's mostly on his way there. So this improves strength, critical hit rate and agility. Um, for Ryan, strength is probably the way to go to start off with, just because you're going to want him to draw the aggro, so if he's stronger, he does more damage, draws more aggro, things like that. Um, and then we have art, so these are all the different arts that Shulk has, and you can level these up with, um, CP, I believe is what it's called. We can also change the order of these, uh, if we wish. Yeah, current, or no, it's AP, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, like, for example, we can upgrade Light Heal uh, if we want to. It'll cool down a little bit quicker, and it will recover a little bit more HP. So, I'll just go ahead and do that to show it off. Now, I'm going to put Light Heal here. Uh, and then Stream Edge, actually, over here. I will go with this setup for now. Um, and then Rhine uh, as well. Um, what we'll do is move this over here, and we'll leave... Uh, these where they are I think no um, I want to do this and uh, that'll be fine there we can also upgrade one of these drawing aggro enemy from range uh, it allows more damage it's cooldown is a little quicker so you can draw aggro a little faster we'll go ahead and level that up as well but yeah art school we got a little bit of XP as well from that achievement but um, actually with that, I think that's almost going to do it all for this episode. Firstly though, I want to look at some equipment and things like that. We got those Colony 9 tops, which uh, I think will do better on Shulk. Of course, we still have this slot here that we can't really do anything about. I don't want to see Shulk shirtless, I'm not going to lie. And this just changes the color of his shirt there. I'm also not too interested in that either. Uh, colony type, it's just his typical green, but changes slightly. It's not a big deal. And then, what did he unlock here? Oh, prodigal type 3, because we unlocked it for Shulk. But yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. Um, but yeah, in the next episode, I actually won't be heading off to Tepper Cave quite yet. Instead, I want to head around Colony 9 and do as many of the quests as possible. So, um... Hopefully you guys will, will, hold on, I can zoom in there, there we go. Hopefully you guys, I will see you guys back here for the next episode of Xenomorph Chronicles. But yeah, like I said, with that, that's pretty much going to do it all for this episode here. So if you guys did like this part, a like rating would be greatly appreciated. It's up to the channel a lot. And if you want to see more content like this, please do consider subscribing. But once again, guys, my name is Connor. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.